Hello, and welcome to the Best Movies Recap. I'm going to describe an American film called Bubble Boy today. Jimmy Livingston, a little kid, is born with no immunity. Because even a single microbe can kill him, he must be maintained in isolation. He is unable to touch anything without it becoming tainted. As a result, he will have to spend his whole existence inside a bubble-like plastic sphere in order to survive. Mrs. Livingston, his mother, is overprotective of her son. He wasn't even permitted to come home until he was four years old. However, when he reaches the age of four, she and Mr. Livingston bring him home in his bubble. His room, too, has a large bubble that he can stroll inside. His parents can touch him through the bubble's protruding hands. All of his toys are decontaminated and kept inside the bubble to be free of even the smallest germs. Jimmy has been residing in that room ever since. Mrs. Livingston does not want him to leave the bubble, so she ends all bedtime stories with the princess dying because they were released. Mrs. Livingston insists that he only watch one channel and read one magazine because they are the only ones ever made. She also cuts his hair and hugs him with her protruding arms. Mrs. Livingston is an extreme nationalist, so she only teaches Jimmy what she considers reasonable and forces her ideas on him. Jimmy, on the other hand, doesn't know any better and goes along with it. Everyone in town is aware of the unusual bubble boy, but this does not work in his favor. Instead, the neighborhood kids wrap themselves in plastic wrap and mock Jimmy outside his house, and Mrs. Livingston frequently chases them away. Jimmy only eats home-cooked meals. Mrs. Livingston has placed a decontamination system in a plastic tube where he keeps his food to kill the germs before Jimmy can get it. Jimmy is 16 years old now. He explains that he grew up like any other kid and is delighted to receive an electrical guitar instead of a car. Until one day, while looking out his window, he notices a new girl his age, Chloe, moving into his neighborhood. He has grown to like the girl but is powerless to stop her. More importantly, he knows nothing about love or girls. His mother senses his attraction and tells Jimmy a story about a boy who died because he touched the next door whore. Jimmy notices Chloe watching him through his windows for the next few years, and she notices him watching her as well. He describes how he knows something is wrong with him but doesn't know what it is. He is terrified when he awakens one morning with an erection. He hits himself with a bat, cries, and calls his mother, unbeknownst to the concept. Mrs. Livingston enters and forces him to repeat the Pledge of Allegiance until he relaxes. Chloe's popular friends make fun of Jimmy, dubbing him, the Bubble Boy. She appears to be defensive of him. One day, she knocks on Mr. Livingston's door, and he lets her in. She is fascinated by the system of plastic tubes that runs throughout the house. She follows the tube to Jimmy's room. Jimmy is surprised and nervous because he has only spoken to his mother. Chloe approaches him and expresses her admiration for his guitar. Jimmy tries to teach her how to play with her protruding hands. In the middle of it, he begins reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Since that day, the two have spent every day together. Mrs. Livingston dislikes their friendship but is powerless to stop it. Following that is a montage of them spending time together. For his birthday, she gives him a guinea pig in a ball, and for Halloween, she brings children into his room. A drunk Chloe sneaks into Jimmy's room through the windows one night on her birthday. She tries to enter the bubble, claiming she can't stay away from him any longer. However, she collapses before entering. The action shifts to Chloe's prom night. Jimmy is devastated when her perverted boyfriend, Mark, arrives to pick her up. Jimmy accepts Mark's offer of a cigarette, but he has no idea what it is. Jimmy notices Mark and Chloe through his windows one night. Chloe walks into Jimmy's room the next day and shows him her engagement ring. Mark had asked her to marry him. She has come to inform Jimmy that their wedding is this weekend in Niagara Falls. Jimmy is disappointed, but he doesn't show it on his face. She also brought him a gift, which she keeps inside his decontamination tube, but Jimmy ignores it. Instead, he returns the guinea pig to her and asks her to leave. Chloe walks away, tears in her eyes. Later, Jimmy opens the gift and discovers it is a snow globe with the words, I love you, written inside. Surprised, he screams her name and decides to travel to Niagara Falls to prevent the wedding. He works hard to create a portable bubble shield and is eventually successful. Then he sneaks out of the house without his parents' knowledge. Jimmy is overjoyed to be running for the first time, so he goes to the bus station and asks for a bus ticket. Jimmy, on the other hand, has forgotten to bring any money. He tries to cross the road, distressed, when he is hit by a bus. He lands on his back, but his bubble saves him. People from the bus approach him and offer him a ride. Jimmy gladly accepts it, but he soon discovers that the people are members of a religious cult. When he points it out, they yell at him and throw him off the bus. The cult group arrives at their destination, 
where their leader proclaims a round man inside a globe to be God's savior. The group realizes Jimmy is their savior and sets out to find him in order to extract him from the globe. Meanwhile, Jimmy meets Slim, a biker. Jimmy informs him that the love of his life has married someone else. Slim is impressed and tells him about his old flame, Wildfire, whom he still loves. He then offers Jimmy a ride, and the two of them travel to Niagara Falls. Mrs. Livingston is shocked and she discovers Jimmy is missing at home. Mrs. Livingston and her husband set out to find Jimmy because the police would only do so after 24 hours. Slim and Jimmy arrive in Vegas and take a break. They have a great time at the casino, but Jimmy only has two days until the wedding. So he abandons Slim at the club, steals a scooter, and flees in it. After a while, Jimmy comes across his parents' car, which attempts to stop him from running. Jimmy is in a hurry and has an accident. Fortunately, his bubble bounces him into a moving train. He escapes his mother but is now trapped in a train with freak show talents. The freaks inform him about their boss, Dr. Freak, who has them imprisoned and uses them in his freak show. Jimmy meets Dr. Freak, who is also a dwarf. He accidentally knocks the man down and frees the other freaks with his bubble. He then continues on his journey to Niagara Falls. But he can't ride his scooter anymore, so he goes to a restaurant and asks for a ride. A group of police officers bully a man named Pushpop there. When Jimmy tells them he has no immunity, they assume he has a contagious disease and flee the location. In the midst of the chaos, the restaurant catches fire, and Pushpop offers Jimmy a ride. In addition, he agrees to take him to Niagara Falls. Mrs. Livingston contacts Dr. Freak, who informs her that Jimmy is traveling to Niagara Falls. She calls Chloe and yells at her for causing Jimmy to flee. While she is speaking with Dr. Freak, the freaks outside steal her car. Pushpop and Jimmy are driving along when they come across a cow in the middle of the road. Pushpop is distressed because cows are a symbol of God in his religion, but Jimmy, following his mother's advice, tells him that his religion is false. This irritates Pushpop, so he abandons Jimmy. Jimmy eventually makes it to New York, where he asks an old man named Pippi for a ride, to which he agrees. When Jimmy awakens the next morning, the man is still driving the car. Jimmy soon realizes Pippi is dead, and the car collides with a billboard. Jimmy enters a grocery store and dials Chloe's number. Mark answers the phone and tells Jimmy to hang up because he is getting married to Chloe in an hour. He is now hopeless, so he calls his mother and requests that she come and pick him up. Both of his parents drive up to him and help him into the car. Mr. Livingston asks Jimmy how it felt to be outside for the first time as Mrs. Livingston goes to the restroom. The father-son relationship Mr. Livingston advises Jimmy not to give up before attempting. Jimmy runs to stop the wedding after hearing his words. Mrs. Livingston notices this and follows him in their vehicle. At the same time, the cult gang tracks Jimmy down and pursues him. Slim arrives with his biker mates to help Jimmy as well. Slim locks his gaze on Mrs. Livingston, who also happens to be his old flame wildfire. It turns out that they are all driving on a plane's runway. A jet takes off, and Jimmy boards with an elderly pilot. They fly to Niagara Falls, but the plane crashes, sending Jimmy over the falls. Fortunately, his bubble keeps him from drowning. He manages to get himself out of the water and runs to the wedding. Chloe and Mark are saying their vows in the chapel when Jimmy walks in and declares his love for her. Seeing that this is his last chance to persuade Chloe, he risks his life by tearing his bubble open to kiss her. However, he falls unconscious shortly afterwards. Mr. and Mrs. Livingston arrive as Chloe tries to wake him up. Mrs. Livingston is mourning the death of her son when Mr. Livingston asks her to tell everyone the truth. Mrs. Livingston humiliatingly reveals that Jimmy has no condition, and he abruptly awakens. It turns out that she had lied to him all these years to keep him safe from the evils of the world. Jimmy is taken aback, but forgives his mother when she says she did it to protect him. As everyone applauds, he finally embraces Chloe. Now fast forward a few months. Jimmy and Chloe are getting married. Everyone he met along the way is at the wedding. Mr. Livingston, Mrs. Livingston, and Slim have formed a triad. The film concludes with Jimmy and Chloe driving away in a car to their honeymoon. Subscribe for more videos like this one, enable notifications, and leave a like to support the channel. Thank you for watching.